I'm going to be super honest with you because I did struggle a lot when I was trying to make a living with my camera. And I was struggling because I didn't have any kind of guidance at all and I had no clue about what I was doing. So because of this, I was making so many mistakes I shouldn't have done. So if you are a beginner photographer, you're gonna have to follow what I say in this video because I'm almost 100% sure you are doing the same mistakes I was doing myself and every beginner does because it's very common, it's very normal. So because I have learned the hard way, I'm gonna tell you six rules you have to follow as a beginner photographer to be able to start making money with your camera. And if you follow my channel, you know that I love teaching you photography through my experiences in London because I hustle a lot to be able to become a full-time freelance photographer. So through my mistakes and experiences, I hope I can help you grow. So let's go with these six rules. I think they're gonna help you a lot to start making a living with your camera. The first one would be to don't point too high. I always say this on my channel because it's a beginner mistake I did myself. When I came to London, I was pitching every single brand out there and I didn't care about their level of photography. So what you got to do is be very honest with the level of photography you have and check on Instagram, website, on LinkedIn as well and check brands that you know they are quite new and you can improve their photography. This is gold because if you cannot improve their photography, why do you pitch them in the first place? I'm not gonna point very high if I know my photography cannot be better than the one they already have. So be always super honest with the level of photography you have and start a small. Start pitching new brands who don't have like very good quality. Always start something. Even if you are a beginner, you have to get paid at least a little because otherwise you're gonna enter this dangerous loop, I call it, of never knowing when to charge for your work. And chances are that you're gonna get better, way better with time, and you're gonna still think like you are not good enough and you are giving your work for free all the time. So for example, regardless of your niche, investigate in your area how much a photographer would get paid for that specific work, and maybe you can get paid 50 quid, which is peanuts, it's literally nothing, but at least you are not losing money because you still have to pay your gear, your editing software, maybe travel expenses, 50 quid probably is not gonna cover it at all, but at least you are not losing that much money. So please charge, because this is gonna give you as well confidence to increase your fees whenever you are ready. And also, it's totally okay to collaborate with people, but be you the one who look for clients, for models or whoever who wants to collaborate with you. But don't put in your Instagram account in the bio, DM for collabs, because right away you are saying to people, I work for free. Don't do that ever, even if you do collaborations and you must if you are a beginner because you want to improve a lot, don't put it on Instagram. Maybe your quality is good enough and someone is checking your Instagram and they cross you as an amateur photographer right away, when they shouldn't cross you that way. So approach people if you like, but don't make it public like you are amateur and you work for free. One thing is to build portfolio and another one is work for free with everyone out there. Learn how to edit. I don't know why so many people procrastinate about this because photography and editing goes hand by hand and I personally love it. I personally love to take pictures and then improve them in my editing software. Plus also, if you don't do it, you're never gonna be able to find your editing style, which I think is a must as a photographer. And nowadays editing software is super affordable. So maybe you don't wanna pay Adobe because Adobe you have to pay monthly. I do because for me Adobe is king but you don't wanna pay because you are just starting and you don't know how to use Adobe yet. Luminar AI is a software I use because it works as a plugin for Lightroom and Photoshop and it's great for beginners because you have AI features, so it makes everything super easy for you to edit your pictures and it has so many templates you can use to edit your pictures. And you have a discount below, I will always put it on my videos, and I think it's a great software. It's a standalone software, you pay once and you own it, and it's very cheap and affordable for such a software. So you don't have the excuse, just download that one and check how it works. You're gonna have as well a link for a free trial, so you can try it first, and then if you like, you can purchase it with a discount. But please invest time on learning how to edit because otherwise you're never gonna grow. Build your portfolio before approaching anyone. This is a massive mistake we all do as well. We approach people and we don't have enough portfolio or not good enough. So if you are into portrait photography or fashion photography, I do have a video about this and I teach you how to collaborate with models and which websites you can use. 
and if you are into product photography, I do have a video about how to make money with product photography at home and I explain to you how you can do a portfolio as well. So it doesn't matter the niche, it can be landscape, sports, build your portfolio first before approaching because chances are if you approach clients and they check your portfolio and it's not good enough, even if you improve it in a few months, those clients never gonna check you out again because they have the image of you not being good enough and that's gonna suck. Have a professional website before approaching anyone. If you follow my channel, you know that this one is my number one rule and I always push you to have one because it's gonna make you stand out a lot because everyone has Instagram. So what you have to do is build up a portfolio, a nice portfolio of whichever niche you are into and then build a website because the first impression is what it counts when you are approaching clients or brands. You don't even need to know graphic design at all or web design because every single platform out there offers you templates. And the only thing you have to do with the templates is swap the text, swap the pictures and that's it. It's super simple and they are very affordable as well nowadays. Make sure to check out as well a video you have about how to make a photography portfolio the right way because in that video I explain how you have to structure your website to make sure the people that visit the website convert into clients. Because time ago, I used to have websites, different ones, and I didn't do them properly, and it was just pictures, and that's it. And there is so many tricks you can use, I mentioned in that video, to get people to book you. So make sure to check it out and build a website with those tips. If you are new here, the platform I use is a Squarespace, and you have a free trial below, so you can work with them right away for free to see if you like it first. Craft the perfect pitch email. We will fail at the beginning of this because we are too serious on the emails or too casual. And what you have to do is a mix of both. I do have a video on my channel, I'm gonna link it down below as well, as everything I'm mentioning today, about how to approach clients the right way. But mostly what I'm saying there is that you have to use a mix of everything. You have to be professional, you have to be friendly, and you're gonna have to do a bit of research of the brand of the person you are pitching to so they know you are not just copy pasting an email and sending them to everyone. They need to know you care. And if they know you care, you have more chances to be booked by them. And also, I normally put all the time below a free email template you can use. You can download it and use it to pitch brands. But you have to change some words and use your own, but at least you have a guide. And do the research I told you about and customize it for every brand or every client. I wanted to take the chance to send a massive thank you to everyone who is already supporting my work by buying me a coffee in my private community or by joining one of my memberships. So thank you so much because I love creating exclusive videos for all of you guys. And also I wanted to announce that I created two new memberships. One super affordable, which is just $3 per month, is the price of a cup of coffee per month. And you're gonna get my educational articles, exclusive educational articles, and my exclusive free resources in exchange for your support. And then I have the other membership, which is the one I already have, and you get everything from me, monthly podcast, new videos, tutorials, and free resources. And this one I'm very excited about, which is my premium membership, and you get everything. And on top of that, you get to join a new Discord group I created. And if you don't know what is Discord, it's basically a chat. So I created a group, a creative friends group, where we can hang out, talk about photography, about gear. You can guys send me your pictures and I can criticize them and help you out. And you guys between each other, between members. That's all the news I wanted to share with you today. I'm gonna link everything below. Thanks again for supporting my channel and big love to you all. Ciao.